Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today's word is, God said you need me more. You need to fast more. You are being tested. Stay humble now. I want you to know that the devil is trying you. Somebody around you is getting on your nerves. And when I say getting on your nerves, they are trying you. It can be your pastor. It can be your family member. I'm going to say to you, stay humble. Stay humble. And I mean this person is nagging at you. They just keep saying stuff. They just keep saying stuff to you. The Bible verse I want to read to you is Proverbs 11 and 2. When pride comes, then comes this great. But with the humble is wisdom. I want you to know that God will give you wisdom. He will help you to understand who you need to move away from. Some of you, like I said, you have people in your life that is there for a moment. You have people in your life there for a season. You have people in your life that is there to stay. These people that I'm talking about is there for a moment. And you need to let these people go because I'm going to tell you, these people ain't doing nothing but dragging you. And you will know because it's like every time you talk to this person or every time you talk to these people, they keep talking about your past. They keep bringing up things that you used to do. They keep talking about your mistakes and all of this stuff. All I'm saying to you is the older you get, you want to live a life of freedom. You don't want to be around people that keep on talking about what you did when you was a teenager, what you did when you was young. Nobody want to hear that. The older you get, separate yourself from foolishness. The only time you talk to me is when you want to go to the club or when you want to smoke weed or when you want to smoke crack or whenever you want to dance or whenever you want to go to the club. I don't understand. That's why I said people are in your life just to see what's up with you, see what you're trying to do. All I'm saying is separate yourself from people that's full of foolishness and bull crap. Start working on yourself. Start getting your mind right. Stay humble. When I say stay humble, stay humble. Sometimes don't say nothing to people. Close your mouth and let God speak for you. Let him speak. If God tells you to shut up, shut up. Shut up. Let God tell you what he wants you to do. People in your life just to get information. People in your life just to see what you're about. You got to be humble. You have to be the big person God's saying. You be the big person and know that you got this. Regardless of what people say or what people do. Hold your head up and be strong. God is going to help you to fix this situation. He will show you and tell you what you need to do. Stay humble. Don't worry about nothing. Put all your trust all your hope in God. He will take care of it. God will take care of it. I want you to know that you have to stop worrying. You're watching and you're worrying too much too. And that's how it's messed up your blood pressure. Your blood pressure been acting up and you've been eating more than you normally eat. I want you to know, give this situation to God. Whatever you are, you know, going through with somebody, give it to God. And he will help you to let it go completely. It's time for you to let it go and let God in. I love you. Be encouraged. Keep holding your head up regardless of what's going on. Hold your head up because you are strong. You are intelligent. I believe in you and I want you to know it's time for you to get yourself together. Stay humble and watch how God, God will take care of this situation. I know it's hard on you, but I'm telling you, God is going to take care of the situation. You've been working with people. You know, you've been working with these people. You've been trying to talk to them calmly, but they keep disrespecting you. God says, stay humble. You got to stay humble and keep praying for those people that's acting crazy around you. Pray for them and ask God to touch them. Ask God to touch their mind because people begin to act crazy. 
So please pray for them. Ask God to restore their mind. Ask God to touch them and ask God to, you know, help them. Sometimes people go through a lot and they they take, they let it out on you. And you be like, where did all of this come from? People go through a lot and I promise you, these people go through a lot. They throw it on you and then you got to deal with their issues. All I'm saying is give it to God and let God have his way in your life. Give it to God. Do your praise and your worship. I promise you, when you start praying, when you start putting God first and you start praying for these people, God, it's like you're not even going to have a problem with them. Hey, how you doing? Take care. That's it. That's all you're going to be saying. Hey, how you doing? God bless you. Take care. Oh, hey, how you doing? I get that done. Okay, yeah. That's it. God going to give you a calm spirit, a humble spirit. You're going to be looking at them. You're not even going to have a problem with them anymore because God is making things new. He's going to clean it up. So all I'm saying is put God first. When you put God first, he going to take care of the rest. These people holding things against you, and sometimes you didn't even do anything. All I'm saying is put God first and let God work it out for your good. When you put God first, let him work it out for your good. So I just want to say be encouraged. I love you all. Have a great, beautiful day. Don't give up. Pray about all things. Stay blessed.